So you probably noticed something completely different. You're probably saying, Paul, what are you standing next to? What's, what's going on that does not look like a Defender? And you would be correct. So March 31st is a very important date to me that I get very sentimental about. And the reason being is it's my father's birthday. So Paul Sr., March 31st is his birthday. And March 31st is when this 1970 K5 Blazer is going to be completed. So why a K5 Blazer for my dad? I, I mean, I know, you know me as a Land Rover guy or a Porsche guy or motorcycles. And that's because when I was growing up, I was very fortunate that my dad loved vehicles and we had a lot of different cars. In fact, a 1970 K5 Blazer is one that we created a lot of memories in. I remember many of, many of weekends and evenings and nights of being with my dad, holding the flashlight as he was turning wrenches on his K5 Blazer before we would go on a hunting trip or we'd go camping or, or wherever we would go. And, uh, it's just, it's a lot of memory, so it's very sentimental. While this 1970 K5 Blazer wasn't my father's, this is a custom built, and of course, what you would expect from Helderberg, we've put everything into it. And I'll get into that a little more, but let me kind of give you a, a little background on K5 Blazers. So what we're doing, or what we're talking about doing is building more of these and that would be from 1969 to 1972 because it has that very classic body style and I feel like it's a really good addition to Helderberg. But truth be told, I'm really going through life. I'm at a stage of life right now that everything I experienced in my youth when I was growing up and my father was the ultimate of cool. He was uh, basically a Steve McQueen to me with the motorcycles and the cars and all that. So that's really what I'm doing is recreating everything that I grew up with. So this one is named Mickey. The reason that we're naming this one Mickey is because my dad's favorite dog's name was Mickey and Mickey loved riding in the K5 Blazer. And we, we had a few of these through the years. I mean, we had this color, this was probably the color or very close to this color, not exactly, but the green and the white was the color. And then we had the orange and the white, and then we had the yellow and the white. But what we did with this one is a little different. So this is the type of color you'd expect to be on a Helderberg. It's a metallic green. So it's a very, very light green, but you can see the metallic flake and in the sun, it's absolutely beautiful. And then the lower half is cream. So you're probably asking yourself, well, what does it drive like? Does it drive like a truck? Does it drive like a classic vehicle? And the answer is absolutely not. It does not. This drives like in modern day Tahoe or even an Escalade. The suspension is not uh, your typical 1970 K5 Blazer, it's, it's far from that. It's nothing like that. Suspension's custom, the engine is custom. Everything on this is custom as you would expect. And I'm excited to be able to start driving it come March 31st. That's gonna be the unveiling, the anniversary, the celebration. Problem is, I'm gonna to have to try to keep the speeds a little lower because this one has 435 horsepower. That's a lot of power. So if you're thinking that, you know, you, you would love to have a Land Rover Defender, but you think maybe I'm too, that you're too big or you want to fit more people, then a K5 Blazer could definitely be for you. So I'd say reach out to me. Let's talk about building one for you because I'm excited to build a few of these. We're not going to abandon the Land Rovers. Don't think that. Those are true and dear to my heart that we will always continue to build Land Rovers. But for the upcoming year, I'd like to build a handful of these 
and it has a lot of benefits. Again, it rides very plush. There's no reason that you couldn't use this as a daily driver because it does drive, and I can't stress it enough, it does drive like a modern day SUV, nothing like a truck. It has plenty of horsepower and it even has a factory warranty. So it has a manufacturer warranty on it, two years and 50,000 miles. So it's a, it's a complete warranty. You would just take it to the GM dealership and they would fix it. So that's what we've done. But I mean, these things are super reliable, a lot of room. And then you have two choices. You can go with the soft top, which we're gonna build this on a soft top version, but then you can also have where the soft top comes off and the hard top goes on. So it can be a removable soft top when the weather is nice and you're on the beach and in the you know, warm climate. And then when the winter starts to come in, you can put your hard top in and have all the, really, the heat and the air conditioning. Yes, it has heat, it has air conditioning, it has heated seats, it has Apple CarPlay. It has everything you would expect in a modern SUV. Everything from the ride comfort, the drivability, the power, the performance, technology, but uh, it is the ultimate of cool. I'm excited to do some videos of it and that's coming fast. So just wanted to share that. Mark your calendar, March 31st, we're gonna do the celebration in honor of my dad with the very first K5 Blazer that we've ever done.